Hello everyone, I'm Pacific Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another video about Rainbow Six Siege. I haven't played this game in a while, but it's still worth talking about. Now, I want to talk about what makes an operator useful in Siege versus, like, those ones that just never get picked. Now, I think the first and biggest thing that makes an operator useful, and this will change season to season, is how much in a given round will the ability that they have be used. Now let me explain. Someone like Thermite or Hibana can literally use their ability every single round unless the team that you're playing against is messing around. 999 games out of 1,000, you're gonna be able to blow up a metal wall, or you're gonna be able to blow up some metal hatch. Anything. You're gonna be able to do it. Okay. Now, then take an operator maybe like Pulse. He's kind of useful, sometimes, where you're gonna have a roamer, but maybe they don't like to get close, or maybe you picked the wrong area to roam. You know, Pulse, his ability is really good if there's enemies around you. If not, he can still be kind of useful because of his 3-speed. So that's kind of how we look at the operators. An operator like Vigil, well, let's think about it for a second. His ability is useful to run away from, which, you know, it's a good backup. You don't, you don't have to use it every round, but it's a good backup. You can also use it to trick the enemies on which floor you're on. And his overall abilities make him useful. I mean, he's fast. And he's got a really good gun. He's, his gun is amazing. So those are kind of the useful operators. And I think that the developers of Rainbow Six Siege clearly know how to make useful operators. Because there's really not a lot of useless ones. I mean, Tachanka, even then, his thing can be kind of useful. I've, I, I guess he could put his turret in the way of someone. Or maybe use it to trick somebody. I don't know. I, spawn killing? I don't know. Now, I think what makes an operator, like, above people than below is how frequently they're used and how how much their ability impacts the game. Okay, take an operator like Blitz. Um, even better, we'll use Fuse. Fuse's cluster charge can be used to get enemies out of the way. Right? You put the thing in the room or blow them up or blow up the hostage and lose the round. Any of those happens with Fuse. And so Fuse, I mean, you put the charge on it, on the whatever you want to do, the wall or the door, and the enemies move away. Okay, that's pretty useful. Or how about Ying? Ying kind of does the same thing. She gets the enemies out of the way. But what makes Fuse kind of better than Ying is that Fuse is a little more lethal. And Ying's thing is easier to dodge. You can stay around it and just look away from it. But the catch is that when you use Ying's ability... You can go in right after it's done. With Fuse, you kind of have to wait for all the things to go and then blow up, so it balances itself out very nicely. So when you're picking, you know, the useful operators, how often are you going to use their ability? Think of an operator like Thatcher. I've been saving Thatcher for this. Thatcher's ability is really useful. There's probably going to be an enemy with some kind of electronics. Sometimes you have to pick between which electronics you're going to get rid of. Or even Twitch does the same thing. And I think some people that are, quote, hard counters to the popular people, you know, the ones that directly counter, you know, like Mira. Every operator can like a, break a black mirror, but Twitch can kind of do it better, right? The hard counters are where it's really at, and the ones with versatile utility are also where it's at. One of the reasons I think Buck is super popular is because of his underbarrel shotgun. You can use it to go through walls, go through hatches, open ceilings, and you can use those open ceilings, or open floors for that matter, to chuck grenades in, or get rid of some other charges that you can then help out Thermite with, or something else like that. So making a useful operator, I think the impact is where it's at. If they don't make an impact, and their impact isn't needed, then they're useless. Well, not entirely useless, but they're not as useful as everyone else. I think Rainbow Six Siege does an amazing job of making it so every operator is useful, no matter who you bring. 
some are more useful than others, and if we use that graph, there's some operators that are useless, and some that are useful. And so I think asking the question of whether or not an operator is useful in Siege might be wrong. I think it's whether or not there is a more useful operator than not. Whether or not you're going to make a big impact on the game, or whether or not your impact's going to be minimal. And that's where I think it actually ends up separating the good players from the best players. You know, good players, they know how the operators work. They know how generally how every operator works. But the best players know how to take their operators and make big impacts to the game. All right? One of the most recent additions is Maverick to Rainbow Six Siege. And Maverick, if you know how to use Maverick, you make such an impact into the game. Such an impact. It's just how it is. Maverick's got a big impact. Clash? Not so much. Clash doesn't have that much of an impact. And then you got the new operators, which we are still finding out their impact. So guys, let me know what you think in the, uh, in the, com in the operators below, the comments below. What are your favorite... What do you think? Actually, no. What do you think are the most useful operators in all of Rainbow Six Siege? By far. Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do for the games. And I'll see you next episode of Steam Vlog or Steam It Post of whatever I decide to make.